ATM and Honda. Rodrigo started on pole alongside Raul Fernandez and Tatsuki Suzuki in the inaugural BMW M Grand Prix of Styria in Moto3. From the off though, and from the second row, Tony Arbolino so strong, getting off into second place. The whole shot belonged to Gabriel Rodrigo as Fernandez went wide. As they powered up the hill on the opening lap, Tatsuki Suzuki was in fourth, and the world championship leader at this stage, Albert Arenas, in fifth. Ayagura started to come into contention, likewise McPhee and Darren Binder made a strong start as well. Ricardo Rossi was the first faller, Further back, there was a big moment on the way in and on the way out for Darren Binder at turn number three. McThree, McPhee's strength in the final two sectors put him well in the mix. And Celestino Vietti then started to muscle his way forward on the number 13. The two Red Bull KTM Tech 3 riders, Sasaki and Anju, were looking strong at this stage as we lost Jeremy Alcoba up at the top of the hill. Sasaki was looking really, really strong. But then this major moment as Anju lost control of his motorcycle, wiping out teammate Ayumu Sasaki. Our best wishes to Anju, who's currently in a medical center. Poor Ayumu Sasaki's chances again blown here in Austria. In the closing stages, it was all on. Tight line from Magura, but through went Celestino Vietti, and that was that. Down went John McPhee in the closing stages, a costly error from the Scotsman. But the chequered flag came out and Vietti was victorious. He wins his first ever Grand Prix here in Styria with Tony Arbolino back in business in second. And Ayagura with yet another podium to close the gap down in the championship to 25 points. Vietti has launched himself up then to fourth, just a point behind John McPhee and takes this confidence-boosting victory. In